in the 70s, board games and improv theater had a baby, and it was called the role-playing game. These games allowed a generation of kids to live out their dreams of slaying dragons and saving kingdoms, all while sitting in their bedrooms and basements. Today, gaming has moved into the cultural mainstream, and role-playing games are back with a vengeance. Join us now as five of these former kids come out of the basement and onto the internet to experience adventure, mystery, and obscure pop culture references. It's time for Roll for Combat. Hey everyone, welcome to Roll for Combat. I'm your GM and host, Demon Glicker. And in this week's episode, the boys decide to start their assault on the super colossal Ultranaut, but discover they need to face their first true test, public transportation. Also this week, I just want to mention that for some reason, I'm a little what's called hot in the mic. The first like minute or so, my mic kind of got blown out. I think it was like too close to my mouth. I kind of adjusted and fixed it, but just be aware, it gets a lot better after that. It's only really the first minute. It's kind of a little too hot. But then it gets fine. So one of the big issues with this book is that the fights get bigger. And they do take longer. We do try to keep them interesting throughout. And hopefully you can kind of like picture what's going on in your mind. But I will tell you, one consistent thing that happens in all these fights is both Hiroji and Akiro do not like taking damage. And they do everything in their power to avoid taking damage. The funny thing is, since Chris created both of these characters... He always puts in damage mitigation. He obviously loves mirror image. He loves to have like stealthing abilities. Anything he can do to not even be targeted by damage in his mind is a good thing. And to be honest, mirror image, although we make fun of him, is incredibly good. It's it really is kind of OP in many ways because you just miss. I mean, like if it hits one of your images, it's like it is a big, big detriment to Mirror Image. And if it wasn't for the fact that I just like attacking Chris, I probably would almost never attack him. There was a game where Seth was the GM and I had a character that had displacement, Mirror Image, like everything you can imagine. And he just gave up. Like he would never even bother wasting attacks on me by the end of the campaign because he knew... There was almost no chance to hit me, and he'd rather spend his actions, especially in D&D where you have a lot less attacks, he'd rather spend his actions attacking PCs that he had a better chance of hitting. And Chris is not wrong that for one action, you can get all these mirror images and then, you know, last several rounds. And, and then you can just cast it again, over and over again. It might be one of the most powerful spells in, well, any game. Also this week, I want to mention that we do have our contest. We have the results. All you had to do was go to the Roll for Combat Discord channel and tell me your favorite part of the show so far. And I'm just going to choose someone randomly and give them an Amazon gift card. And since it's the holidays, we figured I'll give you 100 bucks. That's right, a $100 gift card. And not that many people entered. I'm kind of surprised. Maybe you didn't listen all the way to the end of the show, but that's where I always put the contest. So next time, you might want to listen. But with that, let's get to this week's episode. So last we left off, you were doing a lot of rumination. You were thinking hard of what to do next. And I believe the plan was to storm the castle, kill the king, kill the admiral, take over the ship, and do bloody war raging on the Imperials. Something like that. Okay, uh, Steve, we do that. Bob Marquis is playing the human envoy, Rusty Carter. You win! The campaign is over. I'll give you your medals, and that was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the podcast, and I'll see you next year. Uh, I want to be very clear. Like A New Hope, we do not give a medal to the Brutes, so sorry, John. Oh, Chewbacca didn't get a medal? Chris Beamer is playing the tiefling technomancer, Akiro the Just. Never. Nope, Chewbacca did not get a medal, but he got to roar at everyone and tell them to clap and turn around. 
like the dog. He was treated like the dog. Uh, so the detailed plan that we were going to do, we did a lot of talking about what to do. I forget what it was. John Stats plays the Vesk soldier, Mo Dupinski. I, I, I remember what it was. Seth Lipton is playing the Lashunta operative, Hiroji. It, it was uh, it, it was basically that. Can you brief, been, give us a brief? Yeah, it's uh, the, we, we have a lot going for us uh, that's basically going to let us dungeon crawl our way to the command center. Uh, boss fight in the command center, like you say, kill everybody, kill the admiral. And then a key thing is that it was implied that uh, we'd be able to uh, impersonate the admiral and then issue orders in his place from the bridge. From the bridge, nice. and thereby gain control of the ship. And that then, sounds and like then, a plan yeah. that Mo would agree with. So, yeah. okay. And, and and it's something like and and I think we resolved that uh, our previous uh, concepts of like taking control of everything probably not the way it's going to end up going. Probably right. the way it's going to end up going is we're going to use our prime weapon to destroy the MacGuffin, the right. uh, the gate yeah. thing. Let's do it. I know we uh, I'm for head it. to the elevators. We also found, yeah, well, well, right before we do that, which, I, of course, I will let you do in a second, there were two viruses. There was the Wrath 2.0, which prevented the security cameras and the security robots in the ship from seeing or recording any creature that's entered into the virus's memory. And then there was the Tomb Robber, which would uh, was able to capable of creating a false security alarms anywhere on the ship. So you could basically one time for now use tomb robber to have people go on a wild goose chase if you need a break yeah and the wrath 2 you can automatically put your images in i think we did it jason yeah. i think tuttle did it already last session i'll just say you can do it now because the check is, is low enough that tuttle can do it without even having to bother to roll because he's high enough so i presume that's what you're going to do and uh put in your faces so that you want to be blind or you want them to be blind, should I say? Yeah, okay. I mean, so I don't even need to roll. Jason McDonald is playing the Ahsoki mechanic, Tuttle Blacktail, and his drone, Cheddar. You can if you want to feel good about yourself. I think he already made this a little sad. There, I feel good. 42. He goes, just boom. No, 42 no assists, feels good about myself. No assist. No need to have an assist. Uh, it goes all in. It goes all in. Yeah. Jeez. 42. Nice computers check. Yeah. So, and, and Jason, didn't you, didn't you also do some kind of combination of uh, downloading a lot of, of material into our data pads and also and also like establishing a link to this computer system so we can get information on the fly as we're dungeon crawling around? I didn't think. Um, I know we did do the download. I thought the link was not necessarily a possibility. Or... A link is not possible because this is a tier ten computer and your data pad is a tier one, and it doesn't have Wi-Fi. So. But you can. Dude, download... doesn't have Wi-Fi. <laughs> it doesn't. And uh, well, so you know, it's a secure system. And it does have, though. You are able to download the maps and the general, you know, schematics. So once you leave this area, you're out. But you can also kind of tap in and just get a general idea of what's going on on the ship. But you know, like sort of high-level comps. But, you know, once you leave this area, you're kind of done with the high-level security of what you can access until you get to another level, high-level security area. So do we know the location of the elevator or the tram uh, yes. that we need to take? Okay. Yes. Now, if you remember, there's these things called these grab train stations that are very similar to those in Babylon 5 that whisk you around the station. And they, uh, they go anywhere. And they will change routes and have switching ports every couple hundred feet of most tracks. And they're scattered uh, throughout the ship. And the nearest one is down those doors to the south and just a few hundred feet from Hangar Country. So you could easily get there within, you know, a 30 second jaunt, one minute jaunt, if you will. Okay, I think we should start making that 30 second jaunt. Yeah. All right, so I go there. Let's go. Let's get out of this room. We've Great, here. I go. You open the doors. Oh, ho, 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 ho. welcome to Fantasy Al. I mean, so everyone's ready. Everyone has their weapons. Everyone's cock locked and ready to roll. Yep. Yeah. Sure. I'm in. I'm in the back. Let's do it. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, actually, that is one problem. We'd really like actually Akiro to be up front. Akiro, um, do you want to cast your mirror images now or in like a minute? I no, wish, he doesn't. I wish I knew no, it was behind that door. Cause, yes. Yeah, I'm opening the door. No. Open the door. It's a hallway. And you know that you want to go left. I want to go left. There's a. Uh... You open up the hallway. You look around. You see off in the distance to the right some security bots kind of wandering doing patrols. You don't see any humanoids or undead, but you do no, know that they're coming left. this way. Yeah. And the left is anyhow. I didn't put them on the map, but they are coming. Yeah. All right. Well, they, we're invisible to them. So if that virus is anything, uh, who knows if they're connected to the, the, the security system. But yeah. Uh, so we'll go left. I assume this map ends. I don't know. Are you uh, able yeah. To give me one second. Hold on. A second. Okay. I forgot to do something. All right. While you're taking that one second, I absolutely want to go up to one of the security bots and make a face in his face. And it's like double, triple check that he's not going to see me. Always the troublemaker. When you all, all right. die, it will be Seth's fault. All right. I want to do a classic, both pinkies on either side of the mouth and stick out your tongue. <laughs> God. That may be classic in anime, but not in the West. <laughs> yeah, we haven't done that in the West since uh, the Revolutionary War. We did that to Great Britain. And that's the last time it was. I, I bite my accessible. tongue at him. I bite my. Tongue. <laughs> yes, yes. You, you bite your bite, finger. You bite your bite thumb your... at him. Yeah. Yes. I, 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 I'm sorry. I bite my thumb at him. I said tongue. I meant thumb. Do you bite your thumb at me, sir? I, I, I know. I was like, what are you talking about? The opening scene. Of he's Romeo. talking about Romeo and Juliet. Oh, I know what he's talking about, but I'm just he was he was rep. You if you're gonna reference obscure literature. From the 15th. Romeo and Juliet's obscure? For our listeners, it might be. You heard me right, listeners. Okay, listeners, he's insulting your intelligence. I just want you to know that the rest of us trusted you. We'll find out in the comments this week. It's very unlikely. Many many people will understand that that that's from Romeo and Juliet. That's like my favorite play. So, Steve, are you biting your thumb at our entire listening audience? I'm biting my thumb at Rusty's intelligence. That's my favorite movie. I love that movie. Frank goes. I love. Up I love. I actually love that movie. I love it's a it. Great movie. It's amazing. The Leo, the Leonardo DiCaprio one. Yeah, I didn't no. love that. Movie. No, no Franco no, Zeffirelli one. Yes. The um, because I heard that the Leonardo DiCaprio one is actually Bertolucci or whatever. Like the most yeah. faithful. Weirdly. Yeah, I don't know. It was all style. Very little substance. Yeah, yeah. Anyhow, you wander down the hallway. Okay. Um, Hiroji walks right up to the robot, does the full face and everything, and sure enough, it ignores him completely. It looks like Tuttle wasn't uh, pulling a fast one. It would have been really funny if Jason messaged me and said, I put everyone's mess- images up except for Hiroji. Now that, that would have been funny. Why would I do that? So? <laughs> if I was going to do that, I'd do it to Rusty. Because he's the True. one I'm not sure we can trust. Wait, What? He who, keep, he who keeps making noise about taking the stellar generator for himself. That guy. Oh, I've been saying that under my breath. I'm sure you didn't hear me. I mean, what I meant to say is I'd like to actually perform a diplomacy check on uh, uh, Aeon Tuttle to raise his opinion of me. Yeah, you should do that. Tuttle. I'm willing to roll right now if you'd like. No, you can roll. You can see what happens. I, I, I keep thinking that the PCs are immune to Rusty's charms. So... Uh, 32. Yeah, sure. He he likes you as much as one could like an undead traitor. Okay, so 39 diplomacy. 39. He still only likes you a smidge more than a, um, you know, undead. He's, he's not he, 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 he has not moved up from wary to neutral. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes, he's uh, he's still at wary. He's like, eh, we'll find out. I mean, you know you look disgusting, right? I, I'm in disguise. I put this on to help the team, obviously. You okay, there's in. a huge set of double doors. 30 feet long. Now, them are some doors. What are you going to do? I'm way too close to that door. Hold on. Oh, I, I was just hoping Mo was going <laughs> to run in and open up that door. I was like, I opened it! Mo, open that door. I got you all covered. Those are double doors to the west? Them and double doors to them west. All, All right, so I'm night. gonna get out I'm gonna get out uh my laser rifle and I'm going to right. Actually, 
You know what? I'm gonna have it casually at my side. I'll be, I'll, I'll flip it up with these guys. Uh, I'm not gonna take any battle stance or anything crazy. I'm just gonna open them up. <gasps> oh my god, that looks like a subway. It's a roller coaster. Yeah. Wow, it does look like a roller coaster. Wee. Roller coaster of love. At the fore of this massive chamber, two shallow channels run from port to starboard, disappearing at both ends into open tunnels. Glowing tracks run along the channels, and a four-car tram sits on the aft set of tracks. A hefty cargo crane can be seen on the fore side of the tracks near the port tunnels, with a pile of crates not far from it. Low walls demarcate a 25-foot square area in the middle of the room, and five compartmentalized workstations line the interior of the aft wall. A large column descends from the ceiling above the square, reaching to within 10 feet of the floor. It's covered in displays showing arrival and departure times of various routes within the ship. Three rows of hard benches line an area to the starboard of the walled-off area. Two large cargo doors, each 30 feet wide and 30 feet tall, occupy the port and starboard walls. A large metal trap door sits on the floor between the walled area and the port side cargo door. An observation post, 15 feet from the floor and ascended by a metal ladder, is in the port aft corner of the room. Three sets of 20 foot wide bulkhead doors are evenly spaced among the aft wall. Three large X's have been painted on the floor in front of these doors. This is a big room, and there is a lot going on in this room. It looks like you actually came in through one of the cargo doors, which is fine, as you kind of went through a back area to avoid notice. And in front of you, you notice two creatures. There's one creature sitting on the bench that is undead skeleton with strange battle armor and a massive combat rifle made of bones and other materials. There's Mm. also one way off in the corner, 50 feet up in an observation post. And then you see four massive undead that look like commandos sitting in the center where there's kind of low walls, and in front of them are... Is that like a countertop? Like a counter kind of. Area? It's like okay. this is, looks so like the central area. Yeah, yeah, there's four. There's four of those zombies. It looks like this right. is the control area for you know helping to control their plug cargo is. lifts and yeah anything that needs to be moved here. This looks like it's a combination of both troop transport as well as cargo station. You walk in. They look up at you. What do you do? Um, uh, I say. In Eox, and first in common, and then I repeat in the Oxian. Prisoners, get on the train as I have told you, or as you know, I will explode your implants within you. And I point at the train. Uh, I, I, I like, I like use my uh, telepathy. I was like, oh, I was just about to suggest that. And uh, I'm going to follow his lead and behave like I am his prisoner. Uh, oh, actually, it's that you weren't around when I first. I am currently in a full undead disguise, and actually, like, made bluff checks to like raise it up. This was always like the plan to get through. Was me. Yeah, no, I remember that. I, re- I remember okay. that plan from when when you 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 found me and we talked about all that. Oh, okay. All right, I well, about it, that. Assuming okay, sorry. you remembered okay. that plan, I, I will then um, not have my rifle out. I mean, if that's what our plan was, I can't remember. Uh, I will just rely on my cold pike to spear these guys so uh I'm, i'll march forward i must be a prisoner the one with the armed rifle looks at you and says why are they living let's kill them off you don't need them alive you're in the wrong place and he pulls his rifle up ready to attack him to kill him the living will be dead as soon as they are no longer useful you know the standing instructions use them then kill them I, I cower and say, no, mercy, mercy, please, I have information, I'm willing to talk. And you will talk, little one. He looks at you, he's confused. He's like, this is not protocol. We kill them and then extract it with magics. Who are you? What's your rank? Give me your ID card. It is protocol of security. Are you interfering? 
With security? He looks at you. He seems to be pretty angry. Energies, dark energies are rising off of him. Death energy. And he's like, yes, I'm in charge of this area. Give me security badge now. Okay, I give him any security badge I have. Like the one that we took off of her uniform. <laughs> he looks at it. He he knows who she is. She's their direct ah. commander. <laughs> that was... He's, he looks at you and says... Well, actually, I would have just gone with hold it up, I suppose. All right. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> he's like... He's like, he's are, like are, there, are, there, are, there, are there ready to actions in this game? <laughs> oh, there's ready to actions. All right, <laughs> there's I, ready. there's I, definitely okay, ready to actions. I make a I make a well, ready to action to 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 pull my guns and shoot him as soon as he as soon as, I, soon as I, this I, fails I, and he and he starts yeah, opening fire. I do so. Uh, okay, at this point, I use my feet fast talk. I'm going to make a bluff check, basically, just to see if my insane jabber uh, will give us a surprise round. Of course. One moment. That's a cold ability. And see what else is cool? Healing. Yes, converse with foe immediately prior to combat. Before initiative, use one resolve. I use a resolve to roll bluff versus all of them. Uh, and treat them as surprised. Right. Okay. Hiroji going to use his uh, surprise round for mirror images? You mean Akira? Uh, oh, yeah, Akira. Jeez. I wow. think I, I, I think Hiroji actually, has... Actually, 46. Yeah. I think Hiroji has something like that, too. He's got mirror image also. 40, uh, right? Against sense motive. If you're making yeah, I, I got the clones. And yeah, they that's... roll their bluff check twice and take the lower of those two. <laughs> oh, oh sense man! Motive. Phase Sorry, I, yes, their sense motive. They, they roll it twice and take the lower. Okay, I'll just say, as he's looking, if we could do the old classic that you hand him the card. My orders come from the commander, as you should know. He looks at it. He's like, hey, that's not you. And he puts the card down, and you have, like, the gun in his face. And you're like, that's right. And then it just turns into, like, one of those classic Wild West shootout things. Yeah. Great. We all have a surprise round. Go for it. Roll for combat. Is that is that the turn order? Senior, oh, the... you're you're adjusting it. That's you're turn order, and you it. get one. You get a standard action. It's a standard action. And Tuttle's first. And Why do right. I get such bad initiatives? Your initiative. You're dice. in the middle. Oh no, you're well, all the technically. Way I need to get technically. I, I need to get in the room. So I guess I'll get in the room. Well, yeah, but those doors are big. I mean, yeah. And Your ant is no better than anyone else's, Chris. That's why. My, my, and uh, I'll move my good buddy Cheddar in. I'm down to two resolve points. Yeah, you better not die. Wow, that's bad. Yeah, these guys are also no joke. Uh, Rusty's up. Okay. Hmm. Simplest thing. Simplest thing. Simplest thing. Eh, shoot him. Not in the face. I'll re-roll that. Three doesn't work for you. Forty-one's better. All you right. try to bluff him? No, that's actually to make him flat-footed for until my next round. So plus well, two for it, everyone. Isn't attack, he already flat-footed? My right now. Uh, not such that everyone gets a plus two. I don't think, but maybe I'm wrong. He is flat-footed. It's a surprise. Yeah, round. It's a surprise round. No, oh, okay. Then uh, He's in that case, extra I just shoot flat-footed. Him. Well, now he is. I mean, it, it comes as part of an attack, and my plan that's fine. was to shoot him. So that's fine. That's fine. He just does it automatically. He doesn't think anymore. He's too old. He's Mr. Old. Yeah, I stopped thinking a long time ago. Yeah, point blank. Uh -huh. sure. Six. Wait, what did you get? A plus? Is it a plus two? Or uh, plus get, two. You, you uh, get a plus right. one for uh, Mo as well. Oh, so plus no, two. You don't. Yes, no, you don't. You didn't. No, you didn't. Your turn didn't go yet. You don't thread it yet. I, I, it Until doesn't you matter. You're flat -footed. Yeah, it does. Not my your ability turn. coordinated shot. What's if I'm ability? in melee... If I'm in melee, uh, striking distance, um, but you're still flat. Any you ally, go you don't go until you're flat. Until the first. Yeah, it does. It does. Doesn't matter. You, he missed by you missed by more than plus five. So unless you give him plus oh, five, no. Roge is up. Activate my cloaking feel and vanish. What? Nice. That's how you do. Great. Okay, Mo. Now you're up. Yeah, it doesn't matter whether or not I'm flat-footed. I'm going to attack him. I'm, I'm going to punch him. Because <laughs> I can't call my pike and punch him, correct? Uh, I don't think so. Not in a surprise round. Well, it's a, yeah, it's in right. this you round, can. yeah. I'm just yeah, going to yeah. unarmed strike him. Oh, that's the sound I want to hear. 
Oh. Oh my god. Smash him. He's so unaware. You punch him. Bones go flying off of him. 55 points of damage. And piece of his of his armor also go flying off. Yeah, he boot to the head. Furious. <laughs> furious. Yeah. That's How hilarious. How dare you, impudent. So good to start with a crit. That feels great. The Kiro's up. What are you doing? What are Shoot you doing? him. What? Oh my god, really? Yeah. That was a good hit. 23. Nice. Nice. That's Hits with a, a 7. No less. Yeah, no, he, he was flat footed. That gun, was that gun is nice. Well, it was a 7. He got and a 22. I... And he's flat footed. Yeah. So. I'm, I'm not... Okay. He goes. Do you want to know how bad it is? Or should I just pretend? We'll just well, pretend. Hopefully it's not bad for all of us. Uh, does that hit everybody? Those guys. That it looks like. I think I'm out of the. I think I'm out of the. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 it, it gets looks, a Kira. That's what's important. Okay. You're using yeah. a green area of effect, so I think it's a good thing he's casting. It's, oh, it's a heal. Heal. It's good. It's a heal. Oh, yeah. it's, it's all right. It's good. It's it's not red, 30? so it must, it must be good. What he's could be a heal thirty us. foot radius? The creature after you hit him. Let's out a dread howl. He's like, rawr, rawr, and it is earth shattering to the core of your bones. Everybody living, which means Cheddar doesn't need to do the roll. <clears throat> Give me a fortitude save. You're living. You're living. Uh, uh, I'm rules, living. Wait a minute. Uh, wait natural a minute. one. I'm certainly uh, rules getting lawyer hit time. Way. Rules lawyer time. There is, uh, we're in a vacuum right now. So not affected. Oh, interesting. The whole it ship? might be it Vacuum. might be ma- it might be magic though I don't that know isn't. that is that no. is that is a, a magic super attack. natural effect. Okay, it means that it still works. Still, you can still hear it. That makes it even worse. Is you can still hear it through the vacuum of space. And that's right. The horror You're in our soul. That's right. The Plus, horror. aren't you using air bubble? Are you still We're using, using life bubble? bubble? Yeah, life bubble. Yep. Yeah, life bubble, which is like gives you air. It doesn't matter. It's supernatural. Supernatural yes. overrides yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, you aren't wrong. It, but it would say auditory if it totally, was an auditory totally. effect. I totally accept supernatural. That's that's. Yeah. There's no, nature, you're right because there's there nature are and then there's super nature. Yeah, <laughs> I'm missing a couple of fortitude saves. There we go. Nailed it. Um, for the future, Seth, you could just hit your character and hit F, and that, that will do it for you. I, I like I like actually rolling the die thing. It makes me feel more like I'm rolling dice. Like, so I, I like I like that too. Okay. Here comes the really, 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 really good news. The ones who succeeded, let's see, Mo succeeds, Akira succeeds, and Hiroji barely succeeds. You are shaken. And Tuttle and Rusty, you are paralyzed. Oh my god. Paralyzed is as bad as it gets. It's a ghoul. This guy's a ghoul. Well, an AOE. That's cool. awesome. No, wait. A goddamn um, space school. That's horrible. I want to do another rules lawyer, though. Because I don't know what Rusty is, but does he have the undead trait? Because does not make him immune to this, though. Mm. Wow. It's supernatural. Okay, so... Paralyzed for how long, I wonder? find out. It won't be long. It won't it's, be long. It's about as bad as you think, because they're basically you're helpless, and helpless means you get hit automatically, more or less. Next up, one of the boom troopers goes, and he sees this, and he is going to move up. Now, this is like a low wall, so these guys do have cover, and he is going to shoot. It's Tuttle. Tuttle, you can do nothing except mental actions. You are completely frozen in place. Oh, my God. But since my cheddar controls are in my, or have been implanted into my brain, I can still give orders to cheddar, right? Nice. Correct. You can still do mental actions, so you can still control cheddar. You, unfortunately, are frozen um, for now. So I'm just going to go to cheddar next. Do you mentally give him the command? Save me! Gonna let it aid me. Well, I guess for the moment I'm gonna keep it simple and attack the guy in front of him with the ye old junk cannon. Junk cannon activate. Four. It's gonna miss. You can move him. Oh. 
He actually does have a plus two from me still. Uh, it's a four. Would miss. 19. He has a very high AC. Um, the other thing is Rusty. You're frozen. There's nothing you can do. Isn't, uh, isn't Rusty is all brain? He's going to require a verbal component. Hold on. Uh, you. The only thing you can do is mental. Yeah, we actually perfect. said it is because when we did the deafen thing and had Steven on, and you tried right. to use it. Right. Oh, that's right. It. Actually, I forgot that. Thank you. I was actually yeah. looking it up. I wasn't saying it. No. All right, cool. That's good. You don't have telepathy, do you? Uh, sadly, no. I, I, I have telepathy. I was wondering. Someone yeah. had telepathy, I, was wonder- I know. And I was wondering I if, never if we could be play, like, really. which sport. Yeah, I wonder if we could be switchboard operators if need be, and just like relay information at the speed of thought. Now that we're in the future, we have comms, so telepathy is kind of like doesn't really play into it ever. This bone trooper pulls out a grenade. It hits oh, square no. right in that area. Everybody, give me a reflex save. Who's in that area? Let's see, Mo. So that's um, not me. That's all that matters. Actually, Cheddar doesn't need to. Actually, just Hiroji, Mo, and Tuttle. Oh no, <laughs> <laughs> we're the, we're too high level to be missing saves at this point because you missed saves. Uh, Mo, terrible thing. Fails with a twelve. It's also a really low DC. Is is it a is it some kind of grenade? It's a grenade, and it flashed. It oh. explodes in a flash. And let's see. Flash bang blindy. I still need a, a roll from Hiroji. Uh, oh, I, I, I mean, I mean, a uh, Tuttle, Jason. I still need to roll from you. And I feel confident. No, you, about I thought you said Tuttle didn't need to do one, but okay. Oh, I meant her. I meant Cheddar. Cheddar didn't need to do one. All right, that was Cheddar. Oh, okay, sorry. Cheddar does not need to do one. You need to do one. Well, does Tuttle even get a reflex save if he's paralyzed? Um, yes. You just get a minus five to your reflex. Wow. Well, you almost made it. You three. You two are. Your oldie but a good one. You're blind. Dun, 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 dun. Paralyzed. Blind. That's not. That's horrifically bad. Wow. You're 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 going to be like a human stump very soon. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, you guys are dead. You're dead. You're, <laughs> you're, you're dead. Helen Keller, pretty much. You guys actually have lost. Hiroshi's up. Might want to help so, out your friends. <laughs> I forget. Uh, I know I have a couple of grenades, but I forget. Which grades I have because I don't have them written on my machine. So is they're kind of remember... crappy. Yeah, but do you remember what they are? Uh, I, uh, right. I can look it up. Um, yeah, I... hold on, I do. I, and I actually kind of want to use them. Yes, up. you have a screamer two grenade, and you have two shock grenade level threes, and two temporal disruption grenades. All right, so I'm guessing the screamer grenade is like a deafens and stuns or something like that. Probably is that what that does? And what are the te- what are, what are yeah, the te- and what do the think... temporal ones do? That's a good question. I gotta look it up. A grenade screamer, screamer level two, explodes, does 2d10 sonic damage, and deafens for one to four minutes. The shock grenades just do... This shock grenade does 3d12 electricity damage in a 15-foot radius, which is a lot, by the way. And the temporal one, that one's like kind of a weird one. Uh, That stuns. Temporal... um, Temporal disruption grenade explodes and stuns them for one round. So it kind of the stun is not as good as the other. Right, and good. now I'm thinking I'm thinking I like that one. So what? So here's what you, I want to do. Wait, wait, wait! You're shaking. So shaking, I think, okay. is one action. Oh, oh is shaking, Robbie. No, no, Ashes shaking. I think it's just a minus two on everything. Yeah. Uh, shaking two is a minus two and checks actions and attacks and saves. You're correct, so you're fine. Okay, that sounds good. All right, so so I, I have how many actions at this point? I think I have two left. Is that right? Three actions? You can do a move and a standard. That's all you got. Okay, great. So I want to move close enough to get within. I don't get an additional penalty range to throw the grenade into that cluster of guys in the little box over there to get as many as possible, whatever square that, that is, if you see what I mean. I don't want to use the temporal grenade to try and stun him for a round. Give us a little bit. Oh, your speed space. is 50, and the range increment is 20, and the DC to hit is a 5. So you're going to hit it unless you roll a 1. So just move yourself okay, within good. 50, but you can't jump over those benches easily. You'd have to just move around them. Okay, good. And diagonals, what are, are diagonals 5, 10, 15, 20? Is, that how, is, is it like that? The first diagonal is just 5. Okay, so it's 5, and then... 
Yeah, it all it alternates. The f- like that's that will get you to fifty if you want to get like right there. That's fifty, and then you'll have one. Actually, I want to go around the other way because 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 uh, okay. eventually I want to go to to that guy in the tower. So I kind of want to. So like, move me on the south side of those benches. Right there. How about right there? That's fifty. Let me let me let me, let me, let me put one where I got. Yeah, there you go. That's fifty. Yep, all right. 50. So that's okay. Yep. So that's that's my move. And then I toss the grenade uh, to wherever would get the most of those guys, and it's a temporal grenade to try and stop. Kaboom! Right there. That's what it'll do. Nice. Awesome. Is, that, is that in a room or is that a what is the, what is those yeah. walls? Yeah, those are like they're low walls. It's sort of like a it's like a massive cubicle. It's like a really big cubicle. So you can yeah, so you can just lob it over. You can lob it right in. Yep, you can lob it right in. They get cover. That, I, so. I do have some I do have some contractual uh, obligation to mention that uh, though I am not very skilled, I've thrown a grenade. Yeah, yeah, yes, exactly. You're not you're not trained in it in any way. No, no, I'm not <laughs> trained in it. I, throw it. <laughs> I know that was his. Just trainer. roll one d twenty. Yeah, that's all you need to roll. I'll, I'll do and he would he would roll he would yeah. Just don't roll a one. Nice. Roll a twenty. Better roll a natural twenty. A natural twenty. There's no crits what on grenades, that? but good job. Uh, <laughs> you throw it fair. perfectly. Perfectly. If this was one of those ring tosses at the carnival, you would have gotten a prize. You would have gotten the big stuffed bear. Good job. Oh, and uh, I, I, my cloak is still activated, which doesn't deactivate. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm, like, I'm gonna have to hide again. Like, if it, do you understand what I mean? Like, I, I, I'm not currently hidden, but I, I'm invisible. You don't play one on TV. Got it. So let me do their saves. Well, three make it. <laughs> one doesn't. Um, oh, wait. Those are the wrong saves. Those are fortitude. Hold on. Read it. And pull it up. Oops. Is it fortitude or reflex, though? It actually is fortitude. It actually says fortitude. It's weird. What's the DC? We don't. I think it's like a 19 or so. It's like a, it's, a, it's a level 10 grenade, so 10 yeah. plus 10 is 20. So yeah. Um, no, but I think it's half. It's like half his level, so it's 15, I think, actually. So um, actually, look it up. Let's see. Yeah, that's actually that yeah, actually matters. A lot of those are right on the line. And I have one more temporal, two shockers, and two. It's screechers? actually 10 plus half the grenade's level plus your dex modifier. So for him, that would be 10 plus 5 plus 4, so 19. Cool. So two guys fail. Um, that's pretty good. So awesome. I will put little markers on this. And, and, uh, and just, uh, just so I don't have to ask ever again. Uh, so uh, now I have one temporal grenade left, and it's two uh, screechers and two shockers. Is that right? That is correct. Yep. Awesome. Okay. So this guy is in there. He's like, ah, the... Temporal, this grenade is messed up. Ah, what, what key? What happened? Ah, kill them. They are hitting Tuttle the statue. Did, that, did, that, wait, did that guy I move? They were stunned. stunned. Oh, is it stun or is it stand? Is it um, no, that's those are stuns. Oh, stun. I thought it was uh, temporal. It's a stun. Oh, you're right, stun. Uh, All right, sorry. He is knocked out of the flow of time. I'm so sorry. I, I'm getting. There's a lot of conditions going on. Okay, sure. they both are. They both are standard. This is an interesting battle. I will call this the battle of the Medusas because on the left we have two stun guys. On the right we have two uh, paralyzed Pretty guys much. who are blinded. This is going to be a great battle. Mo is up and you're blind. You love being blind. In fact, you're so used to it you don't even know what it's like to see. Pretty much. Um, I'm going to call my. Uh... I don't even need that. I'm going to just pull out my uh, my sword, take a step, and attack. And I did not put the blind modifier in there. There's no modifier. 50% chance to miss. Oh, Dang. Yeah. All right. 50. All right. Uh, low 50 is good. High 50 is a miss. Low 50 is good. Hit thirty-one points of damage. He's not. He's painting, painting. The one way up in the corner, way up with know. his his sniper rifle. Oh no! Oh yes. Yeah, that's the one I'm heading toward. Your cloak isn't working anymore, right? 
No, my cloak is working. It's just like there, there's some weird. Uh, there, there's a detail about the about the skill, the stealth skill that if I attack, it it uh, um, it ends my previous hide roll, but the cloak does not reveal me. Like I'm still like I'm still invisible. So what? So whatever that means for his attempt to hit. Give me one sec. I'll double check. It wow. ends your it ends your ability to hide. Basically, it doesn't end the cloaking field, but your hiding goes to nothing. Like you're no longer hiding. It's like Predator. Like as soon as you start moving, the cloak gets disabled, and as soon as you either take an action to hide or stop, it goes back. But you need to. Like, but is that like? But action. is that like? I have like I have like a, a bonus to my defense due to concealment. Is that that become like no. that kind of equivalent? Well, if cloak is, you can use stealth to hide, even while by directly observed in no place attacking. Doesn't end the cloaking. But is, is it like? But is, is it like the stealth. right? But but it, but I'm obscured. So is it like the same as if I was, as if I was like in shadows and and you just get that normal mundane anybody in the world gets it uh, more difficult to hit. I don't think so because no, it, it would say it. No, it doesn't do that. It would it actually would say that. All it does is it's like it's really good for hiding, but it's not good for combat. It's actually more of a hiding scout thing than a combat thing. It's not like mirror image or like blur. It's not blur, if that's what you're looking for. Okay, here's where it gets really, 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 really bad. You get hit, and in the ammunition, you can feel dark energies piercing through your body. Give me a oh, no. save, Mr. Hiroji. You do not want to... Wait, this is one I don't want to miss? You do not want to miss. There are four oh. who says you want to miss. There's sometimes you do, like are. when you're getting know. drunk... When you're getting oh, that's drunk, true. you might want to miss it. Yeah. It's rare, though. But some are worse than others. Woo! Uh, 18. That was a pretty, pretty good roll. You just make it, and you feel like if you failed that, that would have been near death. But good job. And you realize, this guy ain't fooling around. This guy's got some damn fine ammo, and uh, you guys better be careful. I'm regretting I don't have mirror image. Akira's up. <laughs> We're shaking. Hey! You say, Hiroji, keep your head down. Good job on the grenade. Let me, you set them up, I'll knock them down. And uh, with that, arcane energies flow from his hands as a spent battery uh, levitates in his left hand, right hand holding his rifle. And he launches it into the room with the <laughs> bone trooper commandos, and, a, and you see a blast of fire explode. What is the radius of that? It's, it's all of them. It's, uh, hold on, I'll tell you. I'll just say you get them all. So, which spell is that? That's Explosive the... blast. It's a twenty-foot radius burst. Yeah, you get them all. All right. So, um, it is fireball. Yeah, it's ninety-six plus half my level. The other two guys fail because they're paralyzed. So, twenty-five and a twenty-three succeeds. Succeeds. You guys are like jumping, jumping out of the way. Ooh, that is a not a great roll. Thirty-six yeah, plus five. Nine. Yeah. That's average. Average. I'll take it. 36 damage. Boom. Whoops, I did the wrong ones. So everyone of everyone all of my friends north of me are blind and paralyzed, right? Uh not Mo is not paralyzed, but he's blind. I don't know where to move. Kaboom! You hit them all. Good job. I'm, I'm gonna move. <sighs> Hold on. I gotta think this out a little bit. I'm very concerned. This guy, this guy to the north has a rifle only, right? We don't see any melee weapon. To the north? Oh, well, yeah. His, the real, his melee weapon is his claws. Okay. He has a combat rifle and nasty, nasty looking claws. I have a picture of him. I'm moving He's... there. I can, sh I can shoot everyone from there, I think. All right. Yeah, that there. guy's 50 foot up. Hiroji has a sniper rifle, I think. There, that's what he looks like. I just uploaded what he looks like. Nah, I'm currently all pistols. Oh, yeah. And here's the commandos, by the way. Commandos. Look at those guys. Nasty. Nasty. Baycock. He goes. He. Oh. He could have done it. It's annoying. Oh, he could have coup de grade Rusty, but he can't. So he'll just go up to him and attack him. Aw, that's sad, though. Yeah, the only reason I fireballed them is because they're stunned, and I knew they'd miss their saves. That was pretty sweet. But now i got to deal with this guy to the north, definitely. Bone Trooper. He is going to... Full attack tunnel. 
All right, I have good news, Tuttle. You are no longer paralyzed, and um, you, however, are still blind. Yay. What great news. Hey, man, at least now you can move. Yeah, it's you can't be paralyzed. It's horrific. It's as bad um, as it gets. I'm going to drop prone since I have this bench near me. I'm going to pull out my gun. Okay. And I'm going to fire at the guy to the northeast or whatever. Okay. Rifle. Uh, Aeon's not even in meat damage yet. 7 for 20. Miss. Plus you're blind, so it would have been um, 50% miss chance even if you hit. Chatter is up. Tactical razor bat. 5 for 19. Miss. Rusty, you are no longer frozen, paralyzed like a stiff that you are. You're up. Excellent. That's fabulous. All right. So I'm going to take a guarded step away and I will attack. I'll reroll that one. Wow. Okay. So I do not bluff him. Nope. You do not. 25 is not going to cut it. Eh, just a straight attack then. Oh, if only I had killed him. He the kill would have been nice. did hit. Oh, well. 11 points. Yeah, well. Bone Troopers. He sees what's going on. The Bone Troopers. Throw another grenade. Reflex saves. For everyone except Chatter. So Rusty, Mo, Tuttle. Mo fails again. Tuttle succeeds. Ooh, Rusty, that three ain't gonna cut it. You are blind, Rusty. You can't All see. Right. Yay. Join the club. Join the one-eyed blind club. My vision is impaired. I cannot see. Reggie's up. All right, so it's three actions. Uh, is it, like is attempting to stealth while... Two actions. Two, two actions. actions. Pathfinder 2 so is... Pathfinder 2 is three actions. This is two actions. Oh, it's two actions. Okay. So, oh, I see. So all that makes sense now. All right. So uh, I uh, stealth with the the um, the cloaking field still active. Is that an action? No one's ever done that before. I have to look it up. It doesn't speed things along. The rest of my action is uh, moving as close as I can to the sniper. So I'm either going to get one move or two moves, depending on whether it's an action to actually hide. Well, you have to move half your speed or less, you take no penalty to your stealth check. If you attempt to hide while moving, you get a minus 10. And so you basically just, I think... Oh, I see. So it's part of a move action. So, so yeah. It just, okay, so great. So I'll take the minus 10 and I'll move at full speed uh, toward the guy hiding. Uh, so I'll roll my stealth. Um, I'm mean, not using a trick attack, so it's plus 24. Or rather, minus 10. So, so I'll just put a, do that on my side. It's plus 14. Basically allows you to hide in plain sight. Like, you can use stealth while walking across the floor like you're trying. And, wow, 33. Right. 33. 33, and that will be opposed by their perceptions. So I'll make okay, a note so of that. So, so for them to even so, see you, they'll have to make a perception to find you. Where'd you go? Oh, no. Now I'm a primary target. Right, so I'm moving, a, I'm moving at full speed. So I, so I end up 100 closer to the thing, which I think almost gets me up to him. Is that the like minus 10? Is that with the minus ten? That's with the minus ten. Normally, oh I'm, pl normally I'm plus twenty four. Yeah, normally I'm plus twenty four. It would have been it would have been forty three if I was moving slowly. You can get there. That's a hundred. Hiroti is a ninja. Oh, you're getting pretty he close. Is a ninja. You're getting pretty close. All right, that bone trooper is no longer stunned. He is. What is he gonna do? He's gonna do something really, really funny. I don't think you're gonna think it's funny, but I'm gonna think it's funny. He's moving towards Mao. Ignore that. Just ignore that. Ignore the classic pincher strategy. It's just, you just can just don't worry about it. Mo, you're still blind. You're up. All right. Yeah. No. I'm gonna turn on my haste circuit. That's the first thing I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, second thing I'm gonna do is take a. Yeah. We're gonna take a uh, five foot step and try to whack this guy with my uh, my sword. Sword and board. Yeah, 40 yeah, yeah. points oh, of damage. Nice. All right, but I am also blind, Damn. so I might... Oh, 50% miss chance. Right. That's so right. Low, low is good, high is bad. Oh, boy. Let's see. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, like this. Oh. Right. Give that guy 40 points of... Well, actually, heal him, whatever it is. 
Yay! That was funny. Make sure you don't overheal him, too. The Baycock looks at Akiro, carefully aims, shoots him. <laughs> wow. And misses. My armor. We're very, very lucky. As you just saw a bullet covered in dark energy miss you, and you realize it literally like streaks through the air, leaving a trail behind of darkness. And you realize that's like getting punched with like a dagger of pure darkness. It's just like it's just it's like the snakes from Tulsa Doom. That's is there, what's gonna is be. There, is there something I can um make a roll to like know what that is? Maybe like a knowledge. Yes. Check? I want yeah, to do that. Definitely. It's undead. So undead is um it's undead. Knowledge. Religion. Religion. Probably. Is that even a thing though? I don't even remember. It's been so long hold since on. you guys have Mysticism, done that. Mysticism, maybe. Check. Just roll D twenty, dude. Uh, hold on. Mysticism, mysticism. Probably, yeah. yeah, mysticism. Or life science, actually. Yeah, whatever. Oh, you rolled a freaking 36. Sex, nice. Yeah. Just... Yeah, these things are big cocks. They have these things where they can devour your soul as a standard action and eat you and drink your soul, which is amazing. And then you're dead forever, and it heals them. They, like, do it for fun. They can do the dread howl, which will, um, you know, you heard that one. Makes you either scared or paralyzed. And if you get hit by that infused ammunition, you can be paralyzed for one to three rounds. Oh my god. That is not allowable. Is it my turn? It is your it is your turn. And they're pretty strong. They um yeah. They they love to paralyze and then coup de gras and kill you. Yeah. So knowing fun. that, then um I have to do something defensive. And that is uh, of course you do. Rather than killing the one that's just about and that is mirror image. Here we go. I'm actually on Chris's side for this one. Yeah, he's in the middle of it all, I suppose. Oh, I got more than a one. Wow, I got, got three. 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 Oh, yeah. Holy moly! Yeah, I mean the thing is, he's in the middle of nowhere. He's in no man's. He's literally no man's land. You guys have at least a little cover with the benches and stuff. Uh, you get hit by that, you can die. That's why I told you guys, if you die, don't worry. I have a plan. Hey, I'm not done. I can move. Oh, sorry. I'm sorry about that. Because, yeah, this paralyzation is no joke. All right, hold on. While Chris takes, uh, you know, his standard five minutes to figure out where he's moving to. Okay, um, I'm there. Oh, you're done? And I'm done. Wow. Yeah, I'm done. Oh, he's here. He's living. He saw Mr. Mo, who's blind, try to attack him Wait, and miss. I thought you killed him. No, I missed. I, I'm blind. I missed. Oh, I, 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 yeah, so I, w- I would have probably attacked him instead. I thought he was. Don't worry dead. about it. It's all right. It's all right. right. Yeah, it's it's all right. You're fine. You're fine. As long as the hero and Hiroji live, that's my main focus. Those are my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Those are my favorite characters. That's right. Critsmo with the claw. First attack. Second attack misses with a three. You feel dark energies course through your veins, but are not enough to paralyze you as you're completely blinded by the, well, not by the light, by the dark. Something something hit me. Something hit you bad. The other bone trooper is hiding behind the wall, shooting. And, well, Tuttle's away. Akira's right there. He's got those mirror images. Start pot shotting them. So, when you right. complain how often they crit you, Chris, I just want to let you know that's two, like right one after another. Mm-hmm. Two ones. Miss again. Double, double tack, two misses. And Tuttle's up. You're still blind. Yeah, I'm going to do my racial, like, kip up type thing. Whatever the hell the racial is that does the same thing. Don't uh, forget, you also have your third eye. Your let's third eye is also blind. Swift. Um, is it third eye blind? You got it? Oh my god, that's so good. Okay, you got um, it. I'm going to go ahead and shoot the one we've already been fighting. Are you Do, do you get immunities from what you were attacked by? By the way, Tuttle. What do you mean? Wait a second. Yeah, because he has so many immunities and resistances. Well, you're still blind. All right. What's the problem, Jason? No, never mind. I, I, was, I, got my right. P, I got my letter P wrong. I thought for half a second, I thought I was immune to paralysis, but no, it's poison I'm immune to. 
Cheddar, what's up? No, I did, actually, I wanted to move a little further away from the guy, but... Sorry about that. Now, you can only move half speed unless... Oh, sorry, you can only move when you're blind. Um, if you move past half speed, you have to do an acrobatic check or you trip and fall on your face. Now, I was just going to move up next to Cheddar. Okay, that's fine. Which I didn't think you were going to run away or anything like oh, some shoot. people. I forgot to... Now, Cheddar's up. And Cheddar's going to do good old tactical razor bat. You don't get to do anything, Sean. Yeah, I know. I forgot to make my second attack. I was so distracted by that fifty uh, percent miss that I, I I get a full attack. But that's okay. I Don't missed. forget you. There's a button too. You can press. Rest these up. All right. Five, well, ten, I can attack five, with ten, the fifty percent. Yes. You're blind. Uh, well, the way my evening is gone, I'd roll shit anyway. So you know, the uh, button's not going to help. Don't worry. Or you roll a hundred, and we get to see what happens. Uh, here's the question. Am I allowed to use get him? I do. I can't hear him. I know where he is. Blind just doesn't allow you to use any things that rely on vision, such as reading or sight-based well, that... perception checks. I think you could still use get him. I think you can use well, that's get my him. Question. I think you can see him enough. Is. Yeah. Uh, hearing, I understand, because nobody can hear me, but yeah. Okay. So, great. Uh, that guy, get him. Uh, and now I attack. Damn! You're... You're like Tommy. Def, oh my god, 47. Might be your highest roll yet. Have you broken 50 yet? Uh, uh, I've approached it more than once, but I don't think I've broken it yet. And of course I missed. But everyone has plus four against that guy. Finish him off. Goes right in Akiro's face. Reti with... What does he have in his... Oh, he, that's, a, that's a lot of movement. Jeez. It's yeah. a double move. It's a double move. Oh, okay. All right. He's got this horrible looking leash it's sort of a whip remember what the ferengis had in the first season mm -hmm. of star trek yeah it looks like forget. that terrible <laughs> 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 terribly good hiroji's up high hit everyone's no one saw him hiroji's stealthing in plain sight all right i think hiroji, i have right, i think I'm gonna, I'm gonna attempt i think i figured it out i think i figured this character out and i have a signature move here's my signature oh, god move. We've established well that stealth is part of a move. Uh, my shot on the run ability allows me to take my move after a trick attack as opposed to normally before. So, trick attack, move and hide. Fair enough. So, I'm going to trick attack uh, the guy in the tower. He has improved cover from you. He's standing 50 feet up inside of a little bunker. Sauce for the goose. What else are we gonna do? He, he's like <laughs> that, that's no matter what. But if I do, but, if I, but if I trick attack him, I might be able to get a uh, get a black blooded. So I'll give it a shot. Intro. Here. Um, okay. So uh, first is an attempt of stealth bluff and all that jazz. So and I and I get a plus one for when I try to do that. So I'm gonna roll to try try and trick him. Here, I'm gonna try and trick him. Here's my trick. Twenty nine. Mm. Ooh. I might not do it, actually. Um, Wait see. a minute. That's a good roll, though. Oh, actually, no. That's a terrible roll. He rolled the four. It's actually a terrible roll. Oh, man. Yeah, with his cover, probably not. But this is this is just a trick. This is, this is oh, my... Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This it succeeds. Is it succeeds. Okay. 29. Barely succeeds, right. but it succeeds. Okay, so he's flat-footed. and uh, Against now, you. Just against against you. me. And... Uh, I'm going to roll at my plus 14, and you can figure out what the penalties are for all of his cover and all that jazz. How does that sound? Prove cover is... Yeah, it's a plus 8 to his AC. So, close but no cigar. 22, even flat footed. So basically, it was a plus 6 to his AC instead of plus 8. You have to get up there. Yeah, makes Fight sense. to man to man. But you get the move, but For this right? round, yeah. I'm not doing that just yet. So uh, half my move is uh, 25, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. All right, so I could be, like, here. There's a ladder right uh, there. I, I, right there I assume that the ladder was in front. Where's the, is that a ladder on the side? I'll be aware of the ladder. Yep, it's right there. Yeah, I was just okay. showing you. So that's where the ladder is if you want to go. Yeah, down. okay, so, yeah, so I end up there. And here's my okay. roll for my hiding at the base of the ladder. Damn. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> pretty good. Oh, actually, huh. Bone Trooper comes up to Mo from 10 feet away and attacks you, but in a different way. Oh, God. 
Tries to whip you with that one again, (laughs) and he totally. Mo is freaking blind, blind as a bat, and he misses him. And the bone trooper just looks at his lash, like he got it all confused, and it kind of went around him. Got wrapped around his own leg. This guy was going to also go up to um, Tuttle. He didn't. He didn't whip it good. He did not do it. And he whips Tuttle good for eighteen points of damage. Oh, you're up. You are hasted, and you're still blind. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do a full attack. 50% miss! God, when are you going to be able to see again? That's oh my a God. miss. Yeah, I've been Why do you make high in this? I should always be a hit, dude. No, now that's three okay, rounds. My, so my second attack? But you should, because what if you roll double zero? You're going to want that to be a hit. You're, you're doing it wrong. Here we go. Hey, oh, there we go. Hit? That's a hit. There and you you're no yeah. longer blind. Yay. Okay. Get that thing off me. Ah! I think you guys got the situation under control up there. Yeah. Between the four of us, we killed the first guy. Yeah, we've killed one. That's it. Hey, everyone. Steve here. So there we go. I had to interrupt the fight. I know I've said in the past that I really don't like cutting fights up into multiple episodes. Unfortunately, the fights that are remaining, and there's not a lot of them left, are very long. It's guaranteed that I'm going to have to cut up some of these fights. We actually not only cut up these fights in the episode, but these are actually cut up even between sessions. So the next time you hear us play, it's actually going to be a new session, and you're going to hear the energy level change a little. It actually, for whatever reason, is like really, really up next week. Everyone's sort of like, I don't know, sometimes you're just sort of in the groove, and sometimes people are just like being flaky and goofy, and like next week it's sort of like a flaky, goofy fest. But yeah, that is one of the issues when you get to higher levels, is that the monsters get harder, And they take more hits, and the fights last longer. Also, this is a fight with a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of things moving around. There's a lot of abilities. And I forget that adding even just one PC is a real improvement for the team. I forgot just how powerful, like, you know, four PCs versus five. Five is significantly, significantly stronger for the party. And as much as I'm adjusting these fights, I might have to adjust them further to make it a true challenge for these guys. Anyhow, with that, let's get to the contest results and show notes. So first up, everyone knows there's a new podcast every Tuesday and Friday. There are going to be podcasts over the holiday. In addition, do subscribe to us on iTunes and Android and Spotify. Do check out Jason's Talking Combat column every Monday and Talking Plague Stone every Thursday. Do come to our Discord channel. We almost have a thousand people on the Discord channel. We sort of seem to hit like a critical mass on the Discord, which I like. Cause there's a lot of more discussion. There's a lot more, I guess, Discord, if you will. But just come by. It's just discord.rollforcombat.com. You two can join the chat. You can play some games and, well, hang out. Do follow us on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Do check out the Reddit channel. Do check out the Patreon. We're about to change the Patreon in a little while. We're going to be doing something new. One thing I've been wanting to do for a long time is make it that you can actually start listening to the show live. And I'm fooling around with how to do that. But next year, I'm going to actually allow people to do that and listen live while we're recording. There's a downside because we record very far ahead. So you might listen to things that might not show up for several weeks. But, you know, at least you have the option. So look for that in the near future. And then finally, do check out the interviews that I had on the site recently. We had Luis Loza and Eric Mona. I do have a couple more scheduled for next year. In fact, I could probably schedule an interview with someone from Paizo every single week of the year. It's really not that hard to get the schedules. What's hard is to figure out when to do the interview. That actually is the tricky part because... The fact that they work so hard, they're on the West Coast, I'm in the East Coast, it can be tricky to sort of get everyone set up and organized. That's why I like doing them in person. Like when I go to Gen Con or PAX or something else, I just get like three, four, five interviews out of the way in one fell swoop. And then finally, finally, we have the contest winner. That's right. All you had to do was go to Discord and tell us your favorite part of Dead Sons, and I just choose someone randomly. 
And the random person is Raymond DeKilla. Raymond DeKilla, he wrote, or she wrote, My favorite part has to be any time Rusty bluffs the whole party. I'm excited to see this all play out. So there you go. You've won. Just contact me on the Discord, and I will tell you what I need. Basically, all I need is your email address, and then you will get sent your Amazon gift card. That's it. It's really simple. So congratulations. I'm going to have some more contests next year. I'm actually busy over the holidays, so I didn't really want to run a contest over the next couple of weeks because I wouldn't be able to get you your prize for a while. So that is why I'm going to stop them, at least for now. But don't worry, I have some amazing new things planned for next year. We're getting it all ready, but there's going to be new websites, new contests, new podcasts, just a ton of new things. We're, we're ramping it up. Anyhow, with that, have a good holiday, and I'll talk and see you guys next week. You've been listening to Roll for Combat, a Starfinder actual play podcast. If you have a question or comment for the show, please visit us at RollForCombat.com or drop us a line at contact at RollForCombat.com. You can also find us on Twitter, Facebook, Discord, and other social media platforms. been listening to Roll for Combat. Until next week, always remember Hiroji's motto, I've got this. Oh, wait, no I don't.